Hey, what's up you guys? So I um, woke up in the middle of the night uh, this morning, something like 4 a.m. and uh, decided I was just gonna stay up for a bit and then go back to sleep. So came downstairs and I played a, played a few Blitz games, right? And um, this one, I have no words. I have no words to describe. Let me, let me, okay. This will give you an idea. Look at the graph on this, okay? And look at how we perform. So, yeah, we're both like, you know, 1300, 1400. We both have a brilliant move. We both have a great move. We both have five blunders. And both of us could have won the game at least three times, right? Three times I was completely winning. Three times White was completely winning. White goes on to win in the end, but that doesn't matter because it's just, it's like I finished this game and I went, Okay, I'm going to have to make a video about it, but I don't know what to say about it because it's like one of the the best and worst games that that I've played recently at the same time. So anyway, and apart from anything else as well, it's in a completely new line for me. So we have e4, e5. So I've got the black pieces. My opponent plays the bishop's opening and I play the calabrese counter gambit, as is my want. Okay, now very often they will take, and I think the, the right move here is knight f6 straight away before you throw in d5, hit the bishop, and carry on, okay? Now my opponent plays f4. Like, what the hell is this? So this is now some kind of weird king's gambit declined, right? With the bishop out, okay? So I decide to take the free pawn, and now he brings out a knight, and now I get another free pawn, so I'm thinking... This is all right. I'm happy, happy so far. This will, this will do. Yeah, the knight's blocking the, the queen's access to h5 with that nasty check, and I'm hitting the knight with tempo. Okay, what's not to like? Knight comes in, right? Now hitting f7. So knight h6 is a, a common maneuver, pivoting your knight round to here to defend this pawn. And But now the queen comes down with check, right? But then I go, ha-ha! The joke's on you, because I have g6. You can't come here and check on e5. The knight is now discovered, defended by the bishop. So off you go, queenie. But he goes, oh no. But then I go, oh no. I, I recapture the knight, okay? Now, the queen can take the pawn with check, and she does. And now we enter into the one of the most bizarre um, setups ever. It's like I'm saying to myself, this is one of the most complicated queen traps I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, so look at how things are, right? The rook is currently undefended, but the rook defends the bishop, the bishop defends the knight. Fair enough. Okay, so I throw in d5, defended by the queen, hitting the bishop with tempo, what's not to like. Bishop drops back to b3, and now I don't have to worry about this bishop too much right now because that pawn's defended. Okay, now. What I want to do, I think, is this move as well. But I've realized I can throw in rook g8, hitting the queen, lining up against g2. Bishop's defended by that. Rook defends the bishop, knight down defends the rook. Okay. Queen drops down there, and now I play bishop g7. I'm trying so hard to capture this queen, right? Bishop g7, again defended, defends the knight there. And now where can the queen go? Queen can't go there, but she can go here. Okay, but she's not under attack. So, rook now takes the pawn. Okay, and I go queen up to here because what I want to do is I think I want to do this, which would actually trap the queen. Um, but if, if I were to do that now, rook simply... So what I would really like to do, I think, is to play my bishop here and trap the queen, defended by the knight. But if, if I were to do that straight away, bishop comes here, simply rook takes, knight takes rook, queen takes. I've just lost two minor pieces, okay? So I want to get rid of the rook. So the rook now retreats, and now I play my queen here, okay? So that the bishop will be defended twice on that square, okay? Um, and I'm thinking, we're on, okay? But then he, he throws in d4. Now, I've got a chance of en passant, but that's not... Well, I guess he can't take there, can he? So I take with the queen here, 
Maybe I should have taken on Passant. I don't know. But we'll see. So now, uh, that comes with check. And now the king runs away. Now the queen comes back here because I really want to bag his queen. Right? So bishop comes out and takes my blooming knight. Okay. <laughs> I hit the queen. He takes the bishop and counterattacks my queen at the same time. So I take, he takes, I block here. So I'm a, I'm a piece down at this point and I'm just going, what the hell happened there? <laughs> okay. Um, he develops, I develop, hit the bishop. He grabs a pawn. Okay, now bear in mind, this is like half past four in the morning, okay? So no one's playing their best. He's in the Philippines, so he, he's got no excuse. Double up the rooks against the king. Bishop comes in to defend. Knight comes in, yeah, maybe attacking this bishop, but probably in re reality wanting to come here or here and remove this bishop, right? Because this pawn is currently pinned. Okay, so knight comes here, I go there to hit the bishop. He comes into the corner and hits my rook. So actually, now I could simply have just taken there with tempo. Oh no, I can't because bishop comes back, you see. This is like the most weirdly well-coordinated but badly executed game there's ever been. So I have to move my rook and my attack is off. Now he comes in attacking another pawn. I come in hitting both rooks. He gives check, I move. He captures a pawn. Now I have options, right? I could simply have taken a rook here. But I decide to come in for this with the threat of rook takes forcing the king to there. Don't know if it's the right move. Probably isn't, okay? He pushes his pawn forward, and now I come back and hit the rooks again. Okay, now I take a rook. He recaptures. Okay, so he's still plus three, actually. So he's got three minor pieces to my one, but I'm up a rook. Now I can, now I go in and grab this. Okay, I come in and grab this pawn, right? Thinking that if he takes here, I can recapture and it's mate, okay? So he doesn't, he grabs this pawn, and I fail to realize that he's um, now attacking this rook. Okay, I capture here with check. King has to move, and then I start congratulating myself that I can win his rook with a discovered check. Completely missing the fact that he's looking at my rook. So now I should probably just have taken his rook, right? But I do this with check, and he takes my, you know, I don't know, I don't know. And there's some, a little bit of fanning about, but in the face of the bishop pair, and this is why we say that, you know, the bishop pair is so important. Um, eventually, it's the bishop pair that gives mate in the end. Really, really nice pattern, but bugger me. I mean, what a game, but look at this. Okay, so at this point, and we've got brilliant moves in this, okay? Here, this is a blunder, right? So now I'm, I'm nearly minus four for black. Okay, that's inaccurate, okay? And now I blunder, what should I have done? Right, this is one to remember. Okay, queen here. So let's look at this one, let's look at this. Queen h4 is best. So I need to remember this, because this is gonna, gonna have to go in my repertoire, okay. So whatever he does here, okay, I move. And we trade queens? And I'm still like minus five? Wow. Wow, my king's moved. I've got all my stuff apart from my queen. So is he. But I'm actually up three pawns at this point. Three whole pawns at this point, guys. Okay, well, that's one to remember. Okay, so let's, let's find where are brilliant moves. My opponent's brilliant move is knight to here. Wow. Because it looked bad, didn't it, for a while. Oh, so I shouldn't even have taken... See, these kind of patterns in this corner happen quite a bit with the Calabresi and the Russo and the Janish. So all of this kind of close quarter fighting is really good for me, but uh, really fascinating stuff. So where was my brilliant move? Let's see my brilliant move. Bishop to there was brilliant. And look, I'm winning, right? There. Okay, now he's looking at my rook. This is best. King is forced. Okay. And now that's just a blunder and I give the game away again. Another time. Rook h1 check is best. Ah, oh. okay, so rook h1 check. That would be forced, right? Yeah. And then rook f8. And, you know, I'm actually slightly down material, but completely 
winning because I give check again. King takes g2, but I win the rook. Okay, and goes on to win. But there you go, guys. Look, it's blitz. It's not proper chess. Um, but it's lots of fun, and I, I just... I had, I had to share it with you, didn't I? I mean, it's insane, but there we go. So, hope you've enjoyed that. A little bit of light relief. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.